it's really important when you're thinking in some of these larger time signatures, like 11, to subdivide it because you don't... It's not like counting 4-4 four, four, where you, it's, it's quite intuitive to just feel those four beats. Whereas something like this, you've, it's a little more sophisticated. You have to think about it and then you've got to learn to, to improvise with it, to play with it, to be able to express your ideas and, and your feel. So by practising these things, you're... You're pushing the limits of your feel. What can you feel? You know, we all talk about, OK, I play with feel, I've got to have feel. I mean, it's such an intangible thing. But what you need to realise is that your feel, feel is limited by your experience and your understanding of rhythm. You've got to understand the pulse, feel the basic pulse. The way I decided or wanted to express it was that instead of really laying that down, that anchored pulse there, I started playing a dotted eighth note over the 11 with the hi-hat. I'd done it in various other odd times and basically, you know, here you're playing, if you're playing a dotted eighth note, which is worth three sixteenths, it's a three pattern. For those who have a little experience out there, you'll know that any pattern that is in a three or a five, it'll take that amount of measures of whatever time signature you're in to, to loop itself. So that three took three measures of 11 to come back down on the one. So you've just got to get used, used to it. But the hardest part was putting the, the bass drum figures in there. Three. You can see, you know, where things are going there. <laughs> that was quite challenging, just to get a feel to feel right, because that riff is really moving around a lot, and the bass drum is basically playing the riff with the guitar and the bass.